Today on In the Woodyard, we're talking about firewood. Should it be big or should it be small? Let's talk about it. Here we go. So there is a question and or comment that comes up all the time on my channel. Now, most of the time, this is coming from people that are new to the channel. Uh, I have uh, closing in on 1,400 videos now, 1,300 and something. So I have a lot of people that are just first finding me now um, that have never watched any of my videos, so they don't know why I produce the wood like I do. They don't understand that uh, my customers are different than probably what they want for wood or their customers. So I'm gonna explain it because this comes up so often. There's a lot of people that heat with wood and they think their wood is the right size. And a lot of times those people have boilers and they've got stuff like this. They've got monster pieces of wood. This is just a quarter cut from a, a big chunk. And a lot of people think, well, this is just the right size or even just a half as good. Stuff, something that, you know, takes two people to put into the boiler. And uh, if that's what they want, that's fine. I'm okay with that. However, my customers are different. Most of the people I sell to want stuff like this. Stuff that you can pick up with one hand. They want smaller wood, and I'm gonna to explain to you why. So like I said, this comes up all the time in the comments, and like I said, it's usually someone who's new to the channel, someone that hasn't watched any of my videos, doesn't really understand what I do. Uh, I sell about 200 full cords a year, give or take, sometimes less, sometimes more, and that's about all I want to do. It's about all I physically can do, because I just do this on the side part-time. I'm not a full-time producer. A lot of you think I am. I'm not. I, we just do this for fun, exercise, and to make a couple extra dollars. And there are people that produce a lot of wood that produce thousands of cords of wood that sell wood that know more than I do. And I've kind of learned a lot from them. And basically what it comes down to is supply your customers with what they want. When I first started selling wood, I had the big, huge all-nighter chunks because that's what my dad always burned in his big wood stove. My brother did the same in his big wood stove. And my other brother did in his boiler. So I just thought that was the size. Well. When I started selling wood about 10 years ago and delivering it, I would get to the person's house and I would have big chunks of wood and they were like, oh, is this gonna burn? I said, yeah, it's a year or two old, whatever it was, it'll burn fine. Oh, well, do I need to split it down? I said, no, you shouldn't have to because I had no concept of people in my area that were just buying it for ambiance, for entertainment, for uh, a reason to sit by the fire. They, for the most part, the people that I sell to, customers that I have, are burning wood in a fireplace. A lot of them have newer homes with smaller fireboxes, high efficiency stoves, uh, fire fireboxes, fireplaces, and high efficiency stoves, and they don't want big pieces. And I didn't realize that. I didn't know until I heard it, because I'm slow, five, 10, 15, 20 times, they were all saying the same thing. This is so big, I'm gonna need to split this down. Can I split this down smaller so that it burns better? Wow, well that would burn. Is it, is it really dry all the way because it's so big? Can it be split down smaller? I heard that all the time. And finally, because I'm slow, I caught on to it. People don't want really big wood, the people I'm selling to. Like I said, I'm not selling to people that are heating with wood. Some are, but very small percentage, maybe five to 10% at the most. And even those people have high efficiency, small fireboxes, they don't want great big huge wood. I have one or two people that have boilers that uh, buy wood from me. And I don't have many of them because number one, they want big wood. They want the best wood possible. They want hickory, they want oak, they want uh, locust, they want the good stuff, ironwood. And they want it as cheap as possible. Well, I don't wanna sell cheap wood. I wanna sell to people that are willing to pay a little bit more for quality wood that is delivered and someone that takes care of them, asks questions, helps them, answers their questions. I'm not the guy just to back up and dump it and run, and that's not me. Um, it's not what I wanna do. Because I'm in a suburban area, I have about a quarter million people that I have access to to sell wood to. I'm not in the middle of nowhere where uh, there's lots of trees and very few people, and a lot of people heat with wood. That's not my area. My brother lives in an area like that, and he does have people that want bigger chunks of wood, and they do heat with wood, and they buy much larger quantities than what I sell to. Most of my customers burn two or three face cords, less than a full cord a year. Most of my brother's customers are burning 18, 20, 25 face cords. So they're burning somewhere between eight and 10 full cords a year. 
That's not my customer. I have a few, but not very many. Most of the people I sell to, small amounts, small fireboxes, small stoves, and they're burning for fun. So a lot of times on my channel, I'll have guys, they'll see me splitting wood like this, uh, old videos or even new videos, it's like, why are you making all those little bitty pieces of wood, those toothpicks? You're making kindling. I hear that all the time. Why are you making all your wood into kindling? This is not kindling. This is wood that my customers want. There's a lot of reasons why I make it this size. Number one is it's what my customers want. So like I said, fireplace people, people that are burning in a fire pit. A lot of people I'm selling to now have the small uh, stainless steel stoves, uh, whether it's a bond stove or a solo stove or a bronze stove or the Hultz form stove, that, the ones that you can set on a picnic table, on your deck, in your back, you can move them around. They're not real big stoves. They're very efficient and you don't need big chunks of wood to burn in there. Smaller stuff actually fits better for most of these stoves. So that's my customer. My customers want to see flames. They want to put the wood in and see flames. They're not just throwing a big chunk of wood in there and having it smolder overnight in a boiler, in a wood stove. And they don't care that um, it's a big chunk of wood that's gonna last, you know, four to eight hours, however long it is you think it's gonna last. Eight, 10 hours, 12 hours, whatever it is. They wanna see the flames, they wanna enjoy it, they wanna get up once in a while, throw another stick in, watch the flames, poke the fire a little bit, enjoy the fire actively. They're not just filling a big fire box and walking away for 12 hours like a lot of people do with boilers, because that's what my brother does that has a boiler. He fills it full in the morning, fills it full in the evening. That's it. And he puts big chunks in, and he packs them in as tight as he can. So there's that. My customers also want a faster fire. They don't want to sit there waiting for two hours for the wood to take off. They want flames now. They want the wood to be dry, a size that will start on fire and burn now. Because at the end of their day, they want to sit down, have a drink, watch TV, watch sports, read the paper, whatever it is they do by the fire, and they want the fire now, not in two hours when it finally takes off. And they don't want a big chunk that's just gonna sit there and smolder with hardly any flames. They want this size wood. And they wanna be able to do this, pick it up with one hand. You can't do that with big chunks. Most of the wood I sell to is going to, like I say, residential homes, and a lot of the people that I deliver to, yes, a lot of guys will buy it, but I also have a lot of women that will order it and buy it. But when I get there, it's almost always, oh, my wife's gonna be so happy. She can handle these just fine. If the lady of the house can't pick it up with one hand, it's too big. That's my customer. A lot of women tell me they like the size of my wood. So there's that. And that's important to them. They want stuff that is gonna be something for that's easy for them to handle, easy to get burning, easy to make a fire. They want to put in four, five, six pieces on top of their kindling, light it, and have it burn. Also, this size wood. Kids can help. A lot of people have young kids, and if you got wood this, wood this size, they can easily pick it up, they can stack it, they can help. A lot of the people I sell to have younger kids, and that is what they do, and they like it. And they will tell me, oh, I like the size of the wood. My son can even help out. He's five, he loves helping. But if you got the big, huge monsters, like this, Like this, not many kids are gonna be able to pick this up because I had to use pick hand, two hands to pick this up off the ground. And this isn't even a monster piece. This is like average size for a lot of boiler people. You know, it's, it's a quarter, but a lot of people will take a, a, a round this big, say there's four of them, and they'll just cut it in half, and that's good enough because they want the big chunks. And uh, that's not my customer. Another reason why I like the smaller wood, like I have split behind me here, you know, stuff that's, like this size, no bigger than this, is because it dries faster. It's that simple. The smaller you split something, the faster it's gonna dry. I don't want my wood, especially my oak and my hickory and um, the beech, stuff like that, ironwood, I don't want that stuff taking two to three years to dry. I want it to dry as fast as possible because I have a wood business and I wanna turn over the inventory as fast as possible. If I split it this size, open up the wood a little bit more so it's not just one side that's open, you have two, three, four sides that are open. Uh, as far as the wood not having bark on it, it'll dry way faster. That's huge and that's, that's, that's really important to me as a firewood seller, which is one of the reasons why I'm not a real huge fan of oak. Even though it's great wood, a lot of people love their oak, but it dries so much slower, so I split it down to it's just a hand size. So two to four inches thick, that's what I like, that's what my customers like. Uh, like I say, even the people that, that want oak to burn in their stoves, if they have a wood stove, 
They don't want big pieces. They want smaller pieces that fit into their stoves better. More people have high efficiency stoves than the boiler people that have the big boilers that fill them up. You know, there's guys that have boilers that will take four foot long pieces. They split their wood in half and they put it in with a skid steer or a tractor. They shove it in or they drop it in from the top. Those are rare. That's not my customer. Even people that have regular size boilers that maybe can fit in uh, two rounds end to end and then maybe two or three on top. Even people that have boilers like that, I, I just don't see them that much. Yes, there's guys out there, and yes, there's some of them that watch the channel, and those are the guys that say, well, you got the little toothpicks. Well, that's what people want. The other reason, because people want this, it does take a little bit more work to get it that size, but people that I sell to are willing to pay more for it, a lot more for it. They want the right size stuff for what they want. They don't want to have to do any more work. They don't have to do resplits. They want it cut down smaller. So for instance, my brother who sells wood in Northern Wisconsin, he has, um, I don't know, probably about the same amount of wood I do, 150, maybe 200 full cords a year at the most. And most of his customers are buying 20, 25 face cords. So, you know, seven to eight, nine full cords a year. And those people are buying wood for heating. They want the best wood possible and they want the cheapest wood possible. That's not my customer. My customer just wants the best wood possible that's dry and is gonna burn right now. They don't wanna sit on it and wait a whole season for it because they wanna stock up. My customers will order it and when I deliver it, they're making, a, or they got a fire going and they're out of wood and they want wood right now. They want it today. So I deliver stuff that they can burn right away and that's what they want. They're not buying ahead, they're not planning ahead. These are people burning for enjoyment. So they're different. That's just the way it is. So the number one reason I make the wood this size is what my customer wants. Number two reason, it dries fast. Number three reason, it's what my customer wants. Number four reason, it's what my customer wants. Number five reason, it's what my customers want. I hope I made that clear. I'm gonna show you some comparison of pieces over here. So these pieces here in this section right here, this is the stuff my customers would want. And the ones over here is what people that have boilers want. And they want the big chunks because they do last longer in the stove. But there's a misconception. A lot of people think a piece like this is gonna put out more heat than five of these. If you take this piece and cut it down to five pieces, and if you had another piece identical to this and you left it as it is, they put out the same amount of heat. So now these two chunks of wood, these full ones here, are the kind of things that people with boiler like. And uh, especially this one, because it was barkless when it was cut, this chunk of oak. And it was probably already dry when it was cut, so there's really no reason to split it down because it's good the way it is. This piece of ash right here is also one that I can just barely pick up with one hand, and my hands are just big enough, but I know this would be too big for a lot of people, but a lot of boiler people would leave this like this because, well, that's a good size, and it is. It's just fine the way it is. But if you split it, it's gonna dry faster, so there's that, and it's gonna be easier to handle. But for a boiler person, this is probably just adequate the way it is. This piece right here, I don't know, it's about a seven inches across or so, chunk of oak, and uh, I cannot pick it up with one hand. I gotta use two hands, which is kind of the factor I go by. So this, even if it was dry when I was cutting it, and if I was to sell this to my customer, I would split it in half, and I would split it into quarters because it makes it more like something like this. So if this was cut into quarters, you're gonna get four pieces. Now this is something a lot of people with boilers would say, well, this will burn longer like it is. Yeah, probably would but you're not gonna get any more heat out of it like this versus cut into quarters because it's the same amount of wood, but it might burn a little faster because when you split the pieces down and there's more pieces, you've got more space between it, so you're gonna get more airflow, so it's gonna burn a little faster. But like I said about my dad, he had all that um, locust that I gave him. Uh, I think all together he had like about three full cords I gave him. He said he was able to get more wood in his stove by the small pieces packing it in because he can make a row in the back, fill it all the way to the top. He could put a row in the front, fill it all the way to the top. And he packed it full and he said in the morning there was more wood left, more coals burning than when he put the big ones in. Because the big ones, he could only get three or four chunks in there because they don't fit well. But the small ones, he could pack it tight. So in his 80s, he told me, you know, you were right. He says, it lasted longer, the small pieces. I could pack it in tighter. I said, told you. So there you go, folks. Some would say this is the right size wood. Some would say this is the right size wood. You're both right. It depends what you're gonna do with it and who's buying it or what you have for burning, whether it's a stove, a boiler, fireplace, fire pit, 
smoke a stove, whatever you have. Some would say a mix is good, and that's good too. Whatever works for you is fine. Whatever works for you is good. But what works for you doesn't necessarily work for everybody. Everybody likes something a little different. My customers want this stuff. For other people, they want the monsters. There you go, folks. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Hit the buttons. I'll be back tomorrow morning, 5.30 a.m. Another video for you right now. I have over 1,300 videos waiting on my channel for you to watch right now. Good night, Irene. Mm -hmm.